What's up YouTube, how's it going today? So I ordered something in the mail that is PSP related and it just came in, so let's get straight to it. So this is essentially what I ordered. It is the AV cable for the PSP, PlayStation Portable. Basically with this, you can enjoy photos, videos, and music on your TV. A little bit of uh, info on this thing. So I brought it brand new, unopened, unused. Um, on eBay, 99, I'm sorry, not $99, $9.99, so basically 10 bucks shipped. This one in particular though is for the PSP 2000 or 3000 series. But there's a few carryouts or caveats or however you say it, um, caveats. There are many different kinds. This is just for the, uh, I believe the composite out. Um, so there are HD versions that are actually like five connectors, so it'd be two more. Um, and then there's specific ones. So ones for the 1000, 2000, 3000 and the Go. So this one won't work with the 1000. And for example, the one for the 1000 won't necessarily work for the 2000 or 3000. There's a lot of confusion with that. So make sure you always just read the labels and stuff. But um, this one in particular is for a 3000 only, but we're gonna see what happens if we try it on other stuff anyway, because we don't care. So let's open it up and see what it's really about. Note on use of a PSP 2000 series system. This cable cannot be used to display images from games on a TV screen. This product is not compatible with PSP 1000 series models. Um, so I think that it could show games for a PSP 3000 but not a 2000. Here we go. So let's take this all out. So these are left to right audio, and then this is the video, and this is the part that connects to the uh, PSP. Okay, so we got that right there. And then this is actually kind of nice, where it kind of splits. It kind of says like a PSP with the little PlayStation logo right there, and Sony on the back. And then, yeah, so this cable, I think it said it was like six feet long. Go. So plug this into the TV, plug this into the PSP, and uh, let's see what happens. We have here a uh, Radiant Red PSP 3007, so it's the Japanese. Uh, let me take it out. So I'm going to use this for the video, um, mainly because it looks really nice. So we'll go ahead and take this and look at the bottom of the PSP 3000. Uh, 3000. Um, and so right there where the headphone jack and display out are kind of shown. We'll take that, put it right in, and then it fits like a glove. And so now let me plug this all in. All right, so looking behind really quickly, we see red, white, and yellow down here. And then uh, the cable kind of comes out. Now, as a heads up, this is the setup that I'm working with. And I know you guys are probably thinking, boy what the but yeah so this is what i got i got a bunch of stuff that are, i'm trying to clean out and i'm trying to minimalize because minimalize bro minimalize all right so now we got the tv on i'm gonna change the source to uh, av let me make sure i get a game in there so there we go so this is burnout legends pop that guy in and then turn it on okay turn the volume all the way oh Nothing, okay. So nothing happens immediately. What we'll do is, as per the instructions, we'll go over to settings and then we'll go to connected display settings. And I'll click on that. And then we can switch video output. So this one in particular, I think it says to uh, set it to progressive instead of interlace in the settings. Um, and then I think everything else is your option to like mess around with. Oh, and then I think you're supposed to choose the TV type, um, 16 by nine, it was originally on four by three. So switch video output. So once I push this, it should be switched to the uh, TV. So we'll say yes, and now it's uh, switching over. So now let's take a look at the TV, and there we have it. But um, I don't know if purple's the best background. Let me see if I could change that. Oh, and we definitely got sound. We'll go with that one, that was pretty cool. You don't always necessarily have to go to connected display settings to get in and out of this. So for example, if I want to get out, I could you know display video out off the system, say no. Um, so what you can actually do instead is if you look at the PSP, you have that display button that typically it usually controls uh, brightness right there. 
Um, so instead you can just hold that button and then you can return to the PSP. All right, so now let's go over to, uh, I guess let's just take a look in music. I won't play some songs because copyright, but um, yeah, let's get out of that. Let's take a look at some photos. So I got some wallpaper here. Let's go ahead and click on that. Okay, be cool. We can get a little slideshow going on. Um, and then I don't have any video, unfortunately, but I guess that you could watch video on here. So one cool thing is that the XMB menu is in, um, you know, the full aspect of the actual screen. So it's the whole thing. Um, I did read that for the game, it will be kind of cut down. Whoops. So let's go ahead and start up Burnout and see what happens. Okay, you can already kind of see it cut back a little bit. All right, so we're getting loaded up and holy shit, that is tiny. Like tiny in terms of how much of the screen is actually left out. I mean, it's not the worst thing in the world, but this is really a portable console with this cable because you can play on the TV or you can play in your hand on the go. You can really kind of consider this like the switch before it's time in a way because you can not necessarily dock it, but you can connect it and hook it up to a TV and continue playing same as you were when you were on the go. So let's just get in a little bit of gameplay, see what it's like. Finally! Oh, that's what I get for trying to hit somebody. Alright, so that's enough of that. It's pretty dope. Now, let's see what happens if you use a modded PSP with this. So this guy right here is my uh, PSP 3000 also. This is a 3001 American version. Put it in the same spot. And now let's output our video settings or our display settings. Let's see what happens. Switch, set it's going. And we are on the TV. Nice. So let's get straight to the memory stick. So let's see if PSP games on a modded PSP work first. Um, this might take some time. My memory stick is like pretty huge. All right, so here are a few games. Yeah, let's not play that one. Not that I have anything against it. I just, I have to do like a whole create profile and everything. So let's see what happens if I try to play Tekken. Looks like it's loading up. Looks like it might not have any trouble. I think it's just gonna play. Like, I don't see why there would be any uh, major restriction on like a modded PSP. Oh, oh wait, no, never mind. So the aspect ratio is still pretty slimmed and cut down. I don't think there's any way to like make it bigger. So I guess the only thing that kind of sucks about that is kind of harder to see. Get like, ready for the next match. You gotta like squint or scoot in. Freaking loud ass TV. Round one. Fight. KO. You win. Round two. Fight. Okay, that's enough of that. We just wanted to check really quickly that it was uh, working. Okay, so now I'm press the home button. Quit the game. Now let's check out a uh, let's check out a PS1 game. Let's see what happens with that. Let's go Resident Evil 2. Never go wrong with this game. One of the classics for the PlayStation. Okay, that's pretty dope. And it looks like it's still full screen, so it looks like it didn't get cut off for whatever reason. If this plays, that'd be pretty awesome. Oh yeah, so it is full screen, and so. Basically, if this works out, having a PSP 
that's modded, or if you just purchase the PS1, PSN games, um, is basically like having a PS1 wherever you go. And with this cable, it's like having basically that guy right there, but in here, wherever. So that's pretty dope. Um, let's see, let's load a game. Ooh, scary. So let's see what's going on over here. Okay. Let me see. I wonder if. Uh, so I pushed the button, and now I'm back here. Okay, so the sound obviously isn't playing because of that. There you go. But if I put this back in, let me pause real quick. Go back to the uh, home screen on the XMB, and then I can set it back to display out. So let me quit out of here, and then let's try an emulator now. So I decided to close the curtains in my room to see if maybe I can, like you guys can see on the TV a little better, but I don't know. Sorry guys, amateur here. Amateur YouTuber with the lighting and whatnot. So now I'm just gonna go over to an emulator. Let's start with the SNES. I mean, yeah. Let's go with that right there. Yeah, so there we go. We got the list of games. And load up Street Fighter. Yeah, so you can read like nothing on that, but. Sweet. So this is not from an SNES. This is from the PSP itself. Let me get my ass whooped real quick. Damn it. I love this song, man. If you have a modded PSP, um, even the uh, emulator games will work. Yeah, so it looked like the light just kind of sucks either way. Sorry guys. So essentially in a modded PSP and that cable, you have a PSP, a PS1, a Nintendo 64, a Super Nintendo, you have like a Game Boy or Game Boy Advance. You can play that all on the TV. So let's go ahead and try out a different one. I want to get this last fight in though. Like Chun Li over there? Come on, dude. Uh, you son of a. And lastly, just for fun, we got Super Mario 64. <laughs> Played from our PSP right here. I don't even know what the hell I'm doing. Okay, that's enough of that. Let's see what happens now if we try to use this with a PSP 1000 or a PSP 2000. Okay, so I got my PSP 1000 right here. So we're gonna give it a go, see what happens. All right, so here it is. I'm going to plug in the, you know what? It doesn't even look like cable wise. This wasn't built to fit in here. Like, it kind of, I don't know if you guys can see this part, it's kind of blocked off by that. So it really just, it just doesn't fit, actually. It physically can't go in there, so this, I don't want to break it, but it looks like it's about to, but you, you can't get it to fit. So this will definitely not work on the PSP 1000. It doesn't even seem like it's this part that's blocking it off, like the little tail end. It's actually the headphone jack. There's some extra width to it or diameter but okay that's not gonna work let's try a 2000 connect the display setting so first I'm gonna plug this in yeah camera so camera photos I mean we can take a look at photos but really you don't really want to hook up your PSP to the TV just to look at photos 
So let's see what happens if we try to load up this game. To display this screen on a connected device, you must be connected using a component AV cable or a D-terminal AV cable, and you must output the video content in progressive format. So do I have it in progressive? Maybe that could be. It is progressive. So it seems like it just won't let you do it with uh, UMD on a PSP 2000. So now I've got custom firmware running on it. Let's see if that makes a difference. I don't see why it would, but you never know. Yep, nope, it's the same thing. So uh, PSP 2000 will definitely not work with this. It's kind of a tease. It'll get you up to there, but it won't let you actually play. So that sucks. Oh, wait, what? Wait a minute, hold on. So using custom firmware, I'm loading up a PlayStation 1 game. Uh, the PSP, oh my God. Okay, so the PSP games didn't work, but with custom firmware, it looks like Crash Bandicoot might work. Basically. Okay, so you see it. That was just to kind of prove that it actually was working. So it looks like PS1 games actually do work so long as you have custom firmware. So it may not be a complete loss if you did get one of these cables and you had a PSP 2000, but you have to have custom firmware. And um, it doesn't seem like it's going to work for PSP games, but it did work for PS1 games. Let's see what happens if I try to load an emulator instead. It doesn't let me play any PSP games for sure. So it, it sees these as PSP games also. But for example, if we try, maybe? Oh, sh okay, see? So PS1 games alone will work. So there is a loophole with this. I don't think I have a game to load from. Damn it. Damn it. Okay. Anyways, get the idea. So that's pretty dope. I guess you can use it with the PSP 2000, but it's very limited in what you can do unless you do unless you have custom firmware or you downloaded, you know, some PS1 games that were ported to PSP. If you really want to get the full use of this thing, grab a PSP 3000. I know they do have other cables for PSP uh, 1000 specifically, and possibly even the 2000. They have some HD versions. But yeah, that was just checking out the PSP 2000 on it. And lastly, let's see what happens if you try a PSP Go, bro. What happens if you do that? Yeah, so no, the PSP Go has like its own separate version of this cable where this is basically this just exactly like the USB charging cable. So yeah, not gonna work with the Go, but they do have it. And so, let's see, is it worth buying these cables in 2018? Well, to be honest, probably not. I mean, if you want to play games, you kind of have the Nintendo Switch to do all that if you want to play them on the go and if you want to play them on the TV. You know, the PSP does have some exclusive games that might be fun to play on the TV, but after you consider that a lot of the screen gets cut out, there's probably better ways to do so. And then also, if you want to use a PSP to play PS1 games on the TV, you might as well just try using a PS3 instead. You'd actually get a controller with like DualShock analog sticks. Um, but you know what? I'd still get it. I mean, obviously I did get it, but I'd recommend still getting it if you want it just for, if you want it just for funsies. Um, it's cool to say you have one because not a lot of the cables are very common, especially with all the PSPs that are like for sale on, you know, secondhand. Usually you don't get the cables to go with it. But in terms of using them, you know, your PSP games and everything else that it can play really is probably best paid on the actual PSP screen. So that's pretty much it for this video. I want to thank you guys for watching and let me know what you guys think of the cables in the comments. Feel free to share your opinions and then, uh, you know, like and subscribe the usual. And I'll see you guys in the next video.